Hello, my name is Rachel. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. It's time for another week of dinners. On Sunday, I was busy taking care of some of the tomatoes and peppers and pumpkins from our garden. I made some salsa, some pumpkin puree, and here I am making some spaghetti sauce with some of the softer and smushier tomatoes that were in the garden. They were just perfect for getting sauced up. Here I am just cutting off any of the darker spots that I don't want to go into the pot and I'm just taking out the stems and I'm doing this right on the sideboard of my sink so that I can put all of the seeds and stuff that I um, need to clean up right down into my sink. And then I just added a bunch of whole garlic cloves. This is all going to get cooked up in a saucepan and then pureed with the hand mixer. I just threw in a handful of basil, a bunch of Italian seasoning, and I just did what we prefer, what our tastes are. So I went back in and put some onion powder in there as well, put a lid on, brought it all up to a boil until everything was nice and soft, and then came in with my hand mixer, and then some brown sugar, and some salt and pepper and then gave it a stir. And then this is how that spaghetti sauce turned out. See all those herbs and spices in there? It was so good and fresh tasting. I just cooked up some hamburger meat and some Italian sausage, drained it, and then poured my sauce right in with the meat. We always put our boiled noodles right in with our sauce, and um, that's just how we do it. I know everybody is different. And so to use up some of those other veggies from the garden, I'm just using up one of the cucumbers and some of those fresh tomatoes in our salad that we had on the side. We've been so lucky just to be able to have all of these fresh cucumbers and tomatoes just to have sliced up and snack on or to throw them in with salads and also to get some salsa made up as well as some pureed uh, tomatoes or crushed tomatoes just to put in our freezer to have for later. And so I'm just getting my spaghetti noodles cooked up and once those are cooked and drained, like I said, we just toss them right in with our sauce and then they soaked up the rest of that spaghetti sauce and then I just made some cheesy garlic toast on the side and yes it did get a little overdone but we didn't mind and then I just topped that spaghetti with some parmesan cheese and had our salad on the side and that was dinner on Sunday. The next night I didn't feel much like cooking so Bill picked up some pizza and we had some of that leftover salad on the side. It was just a really easy and not so expensive dinner. Next, I talked Bill into grilling steak. I was just in the mood to have some steak at night. So here he is just seasoning those up and then to help out a little bit, I cooked up some macaroni and cheese. This is just the kind with the cheese pouch and I thought corn on the cob would be another super simple side dish. So I just boiled that right on the stove top and that was our dinner. For that next night, we had our steak, corn on the cob, and macaroni and cheese. The next day, I had to have a heart catheter done, and somehow I ended up connected to an IV all day long. Don't worry, everything turned out fantastic but we lost a day at the hospital. So we ended up having a very late dinner about eight o'clock at night. We just picked up some tacos from our favorite Mexican restaurant in our neighborhood. The next day 
a couple of the grandkids wanted to come over and spend the night and even though I was feeling a little bit run down and Bill was pretty tired because, you know, he was there right along with me the whole time for that whole uh, hospital ordeal. And so um, instead of saying no, we just went ahead and had the grandkids over and just kept it really simple that night for dinner. We just cooked up some chili dogs. I just used some Hormel chili without beans and just heated that up in a little saucepan. And then I picked up three different kinds of dogs because in our house, people are pretty picky about what kind of hot dogs they are going to eat. And so I just got some regular like Oscar Mayer or Eckrich, I can't remember which ones they were, but just some regular hot dogs. And then Bill likes the Nathan's all beef. And then I also picked up some um, cheddar, uh, what are they called? Cheddar smoked sausage that would be these things here I believe and so all I did was just put a little bit of olive oil in my skillet and then just heated everything up in the skillet and this is just a simple way to make hot dogs I mean I could have threw them into the crock pot that would have been even easier but we do like to have a little bit of that um, charred on our hot dogs so we like to have them fried that's our preferred way to eat hot dogs and so we just had some store-bought potato salad on the side and we also had some chips if the kids wanted chips as well so it doesn't get any easier than that in my opinion so chili dogs and potato salad and chips for dinner and I just laid out some fruit and some applesauce cups and the grandkids were just as happy as can be. Everybody got fed. No complaints. We always like chili dogs at our house. This was kind of an off week for us. We ended up not having kids on this night. So um, I just, we were home late due to just being out and visiting our parents both in the same day. So when I made dinner, I just kind of cleaned out the refrigerator and I just started off by um, getting some sesame seed oil heated up in a pan and then throwing in half of a leftover steak that I found sitting in the fridge. And so while digging around, I did find like a couple of half of uh, onions sitting in there because that's what we do around here. We use an onion and put the other half in a Ziploc bag and then store it in the fridge until we need one. And so this day I found a couple of halves in there. So I'm just getting those sliced up. I have my steak sliced up. I'm just going to reheat that in the skillet. And then I also had a small box of white rice from the Chinese restaurant. So whenever my husband gets um, his noodles that he likes from the restaurant, he always gets a little box of rice along with it and then he never eats it so we just put it in the fridge and then that means we're gonna have fried rice at some point because I um, appreciate having some already cooked up rice in my fridge and it makes um, making fried rice so much easier and quicker because you don't have to make the rice ahead of time so I'm just throwing my onions in there and I'm gonna let everything get softened up and reheated in that sesame seed oil and then I'm just gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients and um, fried rice is just a really simple and quick way to get a quick dinner done. And this is what we were doing. I think it was like nine o'clock by the time we got home from um, doing what we were doing. And I mean, there was just several things that happened along the way. You know how when you're just trying to get home and get dinner and then you have to stop for dog food or you have a storm on the way? Well, that was just what was happening in our life on this night. So I just threw in some celery that I keep chopped up in my freezer. And so that changed the temperature of my pan again. And we're just going to work with that. And so once everything gets all on the same page and they all arrive at the same party, then we'll be able to add the rest of the ingredients. 
I was really thinking this would be good with some mushrooms, but I searched around the house and couldn't find a mushroom anywhere. Next, I just added some liquid aminos. You can use some soy sauce at this point if that if you want or whatever your favorite sauce is. This was just what I had and what I was using. And I have to have salt and pepper. I'm all out of garlic because I used it all in my spaghetti sauce. So I'm using the granulated garlic powder. And then I'm just going to put in some of this steak and chop seasoning. I just really like the um, orange peel or the citrusy flavor that's in the seasoning. So that's going in too because why not? And then you just stir and you fry. Stir fry. <laughs> it's so easy. And whenever you have a little bit of steak or some chicken or some pork, that's a great way to use that up is just throw it into a stir fry. Of course, you don't have to have meat. You can always just do veggies. So next I'm just getting that cold lump of white rice <laughs> into the middle of my pan here. And then it takes me a minute to catch on to things. I swear it does, even though I've done it like so many times before. So... I have rice flying all over my kitchen and then I realized just using the back of the spatula and giving it a f uh, pressing it into the pan was just such a simpler way to get that rice broken up but like I said I'm a little slow sometimes. A little late to the party like I said. Anyway I'm just getting that rice all pressed down and broken up and you know not so much in a block form and then I'm just going to just stir it around with the rest of the um, ingredients in the pan and just get some of that um, liquid cooked into that rice and that oil just so that it can get fried up. <music> it seemed a little dry to me so I added a little bit more of those liquid aminos. Next, I just made a well in the middle of my pan. I'm just pushing that rice and steak and onions to the sides so that I have a place to scramble up my eggs. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the, um, this is olive oil now. So I'm adding some olive oil to the middle just to give my eggs something to cook in. And I'm just gonna crack three eggs right into the middle of the pan. Of course, you could whisk up your eggs if you wanted and uh, make your scrambled egg that way, but I just don't even bother with that. I just always do it like this and it works out just fine for us. So I just have my three eggs cracked into the middle of the pan and I'm going to break up those yolks and get them all scrambled up. I am going to add a little bit of salt to these eggs because um, unseasoned eggs are probably like one of my least favorite foods. Um, I don't recommend it, but <laughs> I know some people like bland food. I just, uh, I like my eggs salted. So a little bit of salt and then I just continue to get those eggs scrambled in right in the middle of that pan. And then I just start drawing in a little bit of the rice as I'm cooking just to start getting everything mixed together. And I thought this dish would taste good, even if you didn't make it with the scrambled eggs and maybe just did a runny fried egg right on top. Um, so maybe I'll try it that way another time. 
but today we're just going with regular old steak fried rice. That's all there is to it. This is super easy when you've already got your ingredients cooked up ahead of time like I did using up the leftovers in my fridge and it doesn't even seem like it's leftovers because it's something totally different than what it started out as and it was just super yummy hit the spot and like I said, I was going through my refrigerator and cleaning it out, seeing what I could make. I had a salad in there that I had bought to take to work for lunches. And since we are already into the Labor Day weekend and I will not be back to work until Tuesday, I decided to go ahead and have that salad on the side of my fried rice. So here is that salad I picked up from Walmart. I'm just fluffing it up a little and then taking the little tray with all of the toppings out and then just emptying that right in and I'm gonna put my dressing in there. Couldn't help but notice that the little container that comes in the top of it would be perfect for crafting. <laughs> I'm now somebody's grandma and <laughs> <laughs> I thought about keeping it and then was like, really, Rachel, are you actually going to use it? So that's a no for me. <laughs> but anyway, I just put my dressing on my salad and then got some of that fried rice in another little bowl. It was just Bill and I eating this day. So this was a perfect, quick and easy dinner for just the two of us. recommend that if you ever find you have a piece of leftover steak and some <laughs> leftover rice from the Chinese restaurant to go ahead and try the steak fried rice. It was really good. And that's it for this week. Thanks for coming by and checking out my video. If you liked it, please consider hitting the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.